game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that is Excellent opening tee shot right in the fairway. Frank, what's the best way to get at this first hole? Ideally, you want to go with a short iron. Makes it easier to keep the ball on the right level. That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. In red figures at one under par. Frank, what do you make of the par five second? Dog legs to the left, so there's a decision to be made here all the time, but a good hooking tee shot. That takes the trees on the left out of play and even the rough on the right. Good tee shot here. I've seen people get home with uh, as little as a five iron. Good contact, good result. Frank, why are great rivalries so important? Why do we love them? I think because people like to uh, sit on one side of the fence. You're either for or against a great player. And I think we see that today with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. There's the McIlroy fans that think his future is so bright. There's the Woods fans that still want him to pass Jack Nicklaus's record. That's the beauty. You've got to have an opinion, and you have to have a player. Eagle attempt on the way. Settles in over the putt. Good looking putt right here. I might like it. Well, hello there. Huge bonus making that one. Setting up for the third hole here at TPC Sawgrass. Relatively short par three at 177 yards. But you've got to carry that ball at least four or five yards onto this green, even when it's firm. So a chance for birdie after another solid approach shot. That's that sneaky distance. Frank, what do you think of the start so far? Rock solid. Um, very impressed. Frank, the bunker on the right, I wouldn't call that a pot bunker. <laughs> that is, is some kind of a hazard, isn't it? Yeah, Mian is all the way down the right side, but really it's the lesser of two in the hill on the left. right in his wheelhouse good position where he can attack the pin yeah he has all those options now with that ball sitting up you can bring it in high you can bring it in low the choice is yours Hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 
Now to the fifth. This long par four thought to be one of the most difficult holes on the front side here at the TPC Sawgrass. Yeah, if you've got plenty of length in the bag, you can almost take it directly over the bunker on the right. But if you're not as long, you have to air down that left side. Beautiful looking shot right here. Frank getting set for the second shot here at the fifth. What's the best way to go at it? Rich, it's one of the hardest par fours on the golf course. There's nothing wrong with aiming right at the middle of the green here. You can certainly putt to where the flag is from there. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Back-to-back -back birdies and six under par. Frank, you don't want to get too cute with that second shot here at the sixth. I remember many a time, Rich, when they put the flag right of center. You try and hit a little bit too close, those palm trees all of a sudden come into play. Hits one of those, that ball can go anywhere. Nice drive, right in the fairway, and a good swing on that one. Frank, now the second shot here at hole number six. Yeah, not overly long, but be very aware of these palm trees that are short. Many a shots caught those trees coming into this green. shot that would be replayed over and over. Seventh hole here at Sawgrass, Frank, a bit uncomfortable off the tee. It is. It reminds me a little bit of the opening hole, much longer version, where when you stand on the tee and look at the green, it's a straightaway hole. But that fairway goes to the left and it comes back to the right. But they're all optical illusions. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. the flag stick from that man been pretty good all day from this distance just trying to take care of business you may have lost track at home but we're keeping count and that is nine under for the day Frank 17 here at TPC Sawgrass gets all the attention when you look at the par threes justifiably so but number eight is a daunting challenge in its own right it is longest of the four par threes, plus it's just littered with bunkers around the side, the back, and the front. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Second shot. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, what do you make of the final hole here on the front side, the 583-yard par-5 ninth? just depends on how much you want to risk here. If you hit a good drive down the right side, it's certainly gettable for two. But you can make an absolute mess here at nine. Oh. 
I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Frank, when you think layup shot on a par five, you think it's easy. This isn't necessarily that simple, is it? No, you've got to keep the ball to the right. Otherwise, those overhanging, overhanging limbs on those trees on the left, they become havoc. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. That is just an outstanding shot right there. And now a chance for an eagle. Just dominated this hole and he ends up with an eagle. Setting up to start the back nine here, and if it's anywhere near as good as the front nine, Frank Hill will be very happy with his score at the end of the day. Yeah, the hardest thing right now is to just keep doing the same thing without focusing on the score. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Getting set now over the putt. Knocking down all the shots today now. 13 under. Let's go to the 11th now. It's a par 5 and a fun hole, Frank. You can make uh, anything from 3 to 7 here. And that's why, uh, as the start of the back nine, especially on a Sunday, this becomes such a pivotal hole. To... He goes after it like he is here. I mean, that is one of the hardest drives I've ever seen. Just let it rip. Oh, huge. Oh, huge with a capital F. Busted that. That's a good start to the hole. Right down the middle. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and then he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Won't hurt him. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hot for Eagle coming up. Didn't think this was possible, but 15 under par already. Down to the par 4 12, and it's a pretty short hole, Frank. Yeah, Pete Dye often doesn't get enough credit for his short par fours, though. This is a great example where. One of the features of it is the blind second shot, just to give you a little bit of doubt on judging the distance. This is just a superb round. It's a great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in the group today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Also, he's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you, you wonder what he's thinking on that.
Rich, I thought he could get this far. That just is amazing. Just a mind blower right there. Absolutely incredible. He made the shot. And Frank, we always like when they have the whole location back left and that ball trickles down, feeds, and you can see some really good ones and maybe even an ace here. Yeah, just like Mickelson a few years ago. Down there, it, it looked like it was going to flirt with a bunker, ran up and over the, over the ridge, and in it goes. This is one where you have to play ground ball as well as high ball. Superb shot. Well, that's uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. Frank 14 is so often a pivotal hole here at the TPC Sawgrass. It is, Rich. And when you see a player hit two shots comfortably on this green, you think, what's all the problems about 14? But when you see someone stray left or stray right, you realize that 14 is a real bear. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. That ball's sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Midway through this back nine, could use this birdie here at the 14th. And getting ready for the putt. Gosh, that hurts. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Just before we get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, 15 requires all of your attention, doesn't it, Frank? Personally, I think this is the prettiest hole on the golf course, Rich. I've actually often gone back there and taken pictures. Uh, just a gentle dog leg to the right. Uh, you come out of the chute, seems to be a generous fairway. You just get a little view of the bunker down the right side, but virtually there's no lip there, so that's not a concern. The green, uh, all sorts of weird and wonderful waves on it, um, well protected by a big bunker on the left, and these two little pot bunkers out on the right that, uh, well, if you're first time around, you might notice. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Good putt. You licking your chops here, Frank, as a player when you get to this tee box? Well, it's an opportunity. A four here certainly <laughs> makes the mood better when you walk to 17 and then 18. So a four here is more than just making a birdie on a par five.
moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. This one measures out at 135 yards. This is never going to go right. Just depends how far left. Out of the rough and just a bit off line. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, you think about heartache here at 17 through the years. What comes to mind? Obviously, Sean O'Hare is, is the first memory. I remember Len Matisse messing the hole up. Uh, Sergio Garcia just a couple of years ago when he was trying to make two. And, and you're punished so severely at 17 for a miss, but you're rewarded too for bravery. And it's that fine line between being a hero and a fool. And it comes down to 137 yards. This is a good looking shot. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy, buddy. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Great, too. Beautiful. Now one of the more difficult holes in golf. The 18th here at Sawgrass, 462-yard par 4. In 2013, this hole averaged .39 strokes above par. What makes it so challenging, Frank? Just that big body of water of, uh, that to the left of, of 18 here that's also shared to the right of 9. Not a single fairway bunker on this, uh, in this 18th hole. So really, lack of definition. <laughs> it's so hard to find a target here. Frank, really challenging second shot here at the home hole, the 18th. You have to be decisive going in here. You can see all the trouble in front of you. Water left, that mounding on the right. Neither place really is good to go. So somehow you've got to muster up your best shot. Way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Oh, yeah, he's going to love that one, Frank. Sensational effort. Oh, just eat, a, eat that up. Frank, that was just a dazzling display of golf today. It's amazing how a game at times it can be so hard and just absolutely drive you crazy can appear to be so simple. This was just an absolute joy to watch today. So that'll do it for Frank Novolo and our entire team. I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time.